हेलो माई डियर फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर यर अपकमिंग कॉग्नोजेंट एग्जाम टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज स्क्यूबल एंड दैट विल बी कॉमन फॉर ऑल द क्लस्टर वन टू एंड थ्री सो एज ऑफ नाउ आई होप यू हैव गिवन योर एप्टीट्यूड असेसमेंट और स्टिल इफ यू हैव नॉट गिवन देन आई एल एप्रिसिएट योर एफर्ट बिकॉज यू आर वॉचिंग टू अर्ली टू क्रैक दिस एग्जाम ओके सो बिफोर दैट लेट मी स्टार्ट विथ फ्यू uh information that is i have got various request that uh, anna i have got the aptitude aptitude assessment link i have got communication assessment link but i have not got the further assessment link even after i have given the communication assessment i have not received the aptitude assessment link or after i give the aptitude assessment i have not received the technical assessment link so Uh, if your situation is same and today whatever questions i am going to share is almost the recent question that is that was asked on 15th of april so these these are not today's questions so don't worry your exam is within 2 or 3 days most of the exams are going to be conducted within 25th of april so please wait okay and uh, for those who have not received the communication assessment link for those 25th of april will be your exam date so be prepared for that okay so let me start with the questions guys actually don't panic you are going to receive the assessment links okay okay so let me start with the first question so the question is uh the the course name you have to dis a uh, display so you have to display the course name use the alias course underscore name and the count of the students registered in each course use alias number of student and these are the two columns exactly you have to show and you have to display the results so the schemas are given so let me show that schema so this is the schema you have to refer so uh, registration student section course schedule instructor so all those uh, tables are given and all are interconnected so our main task is to display the student id and we have to count the name uh sorry what was that um yeah number of student course name and number of student course name and number of student okay so here uh the course names are given here okay course name inside the course table and number of students where can i find that so that is here student id okay so that's what you have to link this table with this table with this because otherwise you cannot uh get the full details okay so here the student id and um, sorry section id is linked with this section id and here the course id is linked with the course tables course id okay so i hope uh, you understood so we will mainly deal with three tables registration section and course so we will join them okay basically whenever you will see a lot of tables are given Uh, and there is very big data big schema so don't panic because you have to deal with only few tables okay only two or three tables so don't panic okay let me share the answer so basically what we have to do we have to use the group by clause okay so uh here as you can see we have written all the tables and we have also got the schemas so course table then instructor then registration then schedule section student so student section and course these all the tables we have to deal with okay so the name of the student uh sorry what was that course name and the number of student right so you have to print you have to select the course name and the count of the student okay count of the student so how can you do that you have to link you have to join the 
tables right so from the first table that was i think uh, student then section then course so these three tables you have to join after that you have to run a group by clause to count all the numbers all the number of students okay so let me show the actual query so that there will be no confusion okay and one important information for you guys that is there will be total two sql questions okay two sql questions and one questions will be very much easier and whatever i am going to share right now i am sharing this is the advanced question that means the second code and i am going to share the first code at the end okay so for this you will be having total 10 to 15 minutes so be prepared for these so like you have to solve very quickly okay so yeah so this is the query so at first you have to print the course name right so name name this is from the course table okay and this course name is the alias okay and the count of the student id student id so this count is the inbuilt function in sql so we are using that and the alias name we have been told to give that is number of student and from which table sorry registration table so from registration table we are giving the alias as r and joining the section so let me show that so registration table we are joining with section we are joining with course right so registration we are giving alias as r so joining the section table alias name is s on on section id is equal to is equal to the section id of both tables okay so these are the foreign keys present here so section id here and section id the foreign keys so we are just joining with their names okay and joining the course table uh, and alias is c on course id is equal to is equal to the course id for each table okay and we are just filtering or group uh, grouping them by the name table let me show that how this is grouping so let's say there are some courses right and let's say algorithm algorithm then computer science then again algorithm so all these courses are purchased by let's say some students right so the number of students will be counted by this count like after grouping these groups uh, after grouping these courses okay so the course names will be grouped so that we can get the number of students uh, in the courses okay so course and course name will be grouped accordingly okay so let me show that in the compiler so we are just dealing with the registration table so registration here and all the ids and attributes are there sections are there and all the student uh, attributes are there so let me just run it okay so yeah so where is that yeah as you can see algorithms two number of students two data structures number of students one here introduction to computer science the two number of students are five okay so basically the number of uh, like course name at first and the number of students are grouped using this okay c dot name so c is referring to the course table and the name is inside that um inside that uh, uh, attribute okay so this name is being referred okay so the appearance of that particular attribute uh, name that is name being counted here okay so i hope you understood okay so let me share the next question so before that i'll just uh, want you to know about our prime materials here you will get all the aptitude dot net java python sql html css javascript and communication assessment mock test interview experience everything you will get so just refer topmate.io slash techno underscore uf and you will get various other 
materials like Accenture, Cognizant, Infosys, Capgemini, Deloitte, Tech Mahindra, Wipro, and also LTI Mindry and various other companies materials are there so please visit and have the prime materials as you can see we are tagged as top one percent influencer in top met so please refer to that okay so let me share the next question that is this the number of viewers having the same name you have to display so your output should have two columns as given below viewer name and name count number of viewers having the same name number of viewers having the same name so basically you have to use the group by clause obviously along with that you have to use the having clause here so let me show the schema so this is the schema viewers program channel and this so all of these are visible just you have to deal with one table that is called viewers okay viewers having viewer id program id and viewer name so you just have to print the viewer id sorry viewer name and the count okay nothing else so you have to just uh, uh you have to just grab the results from the table named viewers okay so let me show the query so this is the query actually select the viewer name you have to print the viewer name and you have to count the name which has same in the table okay same name so count star as name count from the viewers table group by v1 name okay group by v1 name they have the same names right so let me show that let's say this is the viewer table and here the v1 name is like uh, ubk ubk techno uf techno uf so it will group to this it will group this after that you it will just count how many have this occurrence okay so two here two so it will just print one ubk one ubk and the count of the same two okay so this is the way you can just write the query and having the count greater than one so this is just for filtering purpose which uh, the name which have a count greater than one for them it is being uh, counted okay so i hope you understood so this is all i had to share guys and if you are from cluster three then you must have the uh, i think if you are from cluster two then you have cloud computing mcq right so guys for you all i have uploaded several videos regarding that so please watch the playlist regarding cognizant and please subscribe so that you get all the latest content okay so thank you for today's session